Hello, it's uh, December the 8th, 2020 at noon. Court of Queen's Bench in the Master's Chamber. The judge issued a judicial ruling for the people that I can give charter notice to the federal government and the provincial government under the Adjudication Act to proceed further with my damage claim uh, against the city of Airdrie. And to recap, June the 25th, 2018, After I arrived to use the pool, I used the facility facility since moving to the Airdrie um, in 1996, many, many years. And I was attending that facility as a low income senior. And they wouldn't let me into the pool because my pass had expired. And uh, some discussions uh, occurred at the pool desk. Security and other city staff were called, and I alleged a discrimination uh, complaint under 15 protected areas of uh, Human Rights Act. Then they let me use the pool for free on June the 25th, 2018. I was so upset, I went to my family doctor to get a free pass to use any gym, any facility, anywhere in Alberta because there is a provincial government program to help people get healthy and gyms and the government pays the tab. In that June week, I had arrived at the city to see if they had honored that pass. And then on July the 6th, 2018, the police arrived at my house and serve my wife the global trespass ban for three months. On that Friday, I filed a human rights complaint against the city of Airdrie and its government actors, proceeded to city council with a number of letters and presentations in city council. Uh, one of my videos that I posted here, the, the mayor was advised by me of Bracken versus Fort Erie and case law and charter law about not trespassing citizens on public facilities. So it led to Herdman versus the city of Airdrie on a charter challenge, sections allowing free speech to government actors and also a charter challenge in various areas of how trespass bans are served and rolled out, their legality, as well as the actions of the police, which constituted, uh, because the overarching nature of the trespass ban, a house arrest and the damages that flow from that. And my prayer for relief to the court is no costs be assigned to this because in the Bracken versus Fort Erie case that reached the appeal court, $4,000 was awarded to Mr. Bracken because of the trespass ban that was applied for him against a year and no costs. I'll attach that piece of case law. So the action can proceed under the charter. Thank you, Madam Justice.